I had itchy things inside all myself. Yeah. <laughs> horrendous job, horrendous. Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. So welcome to week seven on the boat. Yes, week seven is going very quickly now. We actually only have 15 weeks left till Christmas, uh, taking into consideration we're going away for one for week. For one week, yes. Yeah. So uh, we've got our work cut out, really. Yeah, but we're making good progress. Uh, we've got the bed made yeah. and uh, a few little finishing touches to do to there, so uh, that's good news. And we're moving on to the floor. To the floor, yeah. We're going to insulate the floor today, yeah. move the bed back to here, yeah. take the panels out, insulate. And then put the panels and back put down the panels and, and screw them and down. Screw them yeah. down because Simon found really beautiful screws, black screws. Black, black screws were countersunk, so they should fit nicely uh, with the colour of the floor. And then we can move the bed into place, and then we can start building the stud wall for the uh, the heads. Yeah. That's going to start getting exciting because we're going to see the boat getting carved up a bit. Yes. And also, the weather is tropical today. <laughs> tropical. <laughs> today, it's over 18 degrees. Today is the best day ever, so we're going to try to do something on the roof, roof today, yeah. because yeah. we have been postponing, postponing because of the weather, exactly. but today we have to do something today. We have to do something today, so we've got to get the first coat off today. Yeah, so we're just going to wait for 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, see yeah. if the weather gets uh, warmer, warmer, and then try to tackle that one. Tackle that one. So yeah. it's good, it's yeah. looking good. Yeah. I feel a bit stressed with too many uh, materials around. Because you have the shower trays now, you have solar panels, we have a hatch for the bedroom. Yeah, we're going to put a hatch in this week as well. So, you know, I feel a bit stressed with too many materials. You feel like it's all building up. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to get this jump yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the pressure, the pressure is building, Lots guys. Lots of pressure. <laughs> but we're off the windows. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. But I gained some muscles here. <laughs> Okay, so someone last week asked about uh, what type of floor is this? Do you yeah. want to explain what it is? This is a uh, like a marine plywood and it's called either buffalo board or uh, hexi board and it actually has a sort of hexagon shaped pattern on the top which is a uh, grill and it is actually designed for uh, cabin salts, um, exterior decking and uh, various things like that so uh, it should be rather nice actually. This is might look black to you, but this is actually chocolate brown. Yeah, and it cleans really well. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to be careful not to scratch, but yeah. um, it's, it's okay so far. Yeah, it is. And um, But it cleans really well. Even if we drop a, a, a drop of uh, glue, it comes out really quick. Yeah, and most of this panel here won't be seen because the bed sits on top of it. And then there's steps each side of the bed, so you know, there's only a little bit of this one which you can see. So these are the bolts that we're going to uh, use. They're uh, 
a countersunk bolt, black, to kind of match the floor. The floor is suspended on a T-section frame that is part of the construction of the boat. I first drill a hole large enough to take the machine screw through the floor. I then add a pilot hole into the steel frame. With a tap I create a thread in the steel. After adding a countersink for the head in the floor, I am ready to bolt the floor down to the frame. That's me again pausing the video to give you time to subscribe to our channel. 70% of you guys are watching the videos without subscribing. Please help us to produce these free videos for you. Have you done it? Lovely. Let's continue the show. Thank you everyone. With the weather improving, we turn our attention back to the pilot house roof. We are going to add a layer of fiberglass to the plywood using West Systems resins to make it waterproof. a little while because I think if we try to put the next layer on overlapping we'll just put in the sun. Yeah we will. There's a few bits here, here yeah. and here. Well, the trouble is it's um just cut all the edges um, of the fiberglass. I think uh, in general we did a very good job. There is some um, bubbles here and there, but not many. So for first timers, I think we did very well. So now I'm gonna sand all the edges and where the bubbles are, and then go to the next step, which is uh, putting a filler, and then let it dry, and uh, hopefully putting another um, layer of uh, resin today. We'll see. Looks like the weather is um, improving today, so we might be able to do it.
So you've got 12 shots of resin, yes. 12 shots of hardener. A hardener, the fast one, and six of those. Okay, well, I think you might need a bit more. <coughs> Probably another six. Okay. Has to be a paste. Yeah, paste. Put the filling uh, all on all the imperfections on the top and all the way around just to fill up the borders, the edges. And yeah, now I uh, have to wait to sand again. But Simon says it's an easy sand with this one. So we'll see. But it's going well. So I've just uh, built these formers here to uh, lay the floor on. So this would be a step. It would be the same as the main floor. So Simon is building the side of the oh. bed. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? It looks good. So this will go here, all the way. And it'll have a little lip here that goes around there like that. So make it easy to get into bed. Absolutely horrendous job you gave me up there. Oh, sweetheart. I can't believe I gave you a horrible job. Yes, you did. Oh, look at mine. Horrendous. Look, I've got cool, cur cool curved corners now. Yeah, they look beautiful. That's it. i just got to fit the trim. Not the job. Well, mine is done upstairs too. Right? Really? Horrendous job is done. Was it, was it very powdery? Yeah, I had itchy things inside all myself. Yeah. <laughs> Horrendous job, horrendous. So this is a little jig I've made up to uh sand this down so I can sand it down to this which is the same level as the uh, one in the bed and uh, hopefully that'll keep it stop me burning it too much So I'm back on the roof today, uh, the filler looks uh, good and very dry, so I'm going to sand this uh, and then we're going to go to the next step, because if the weather improves, because it's a bit chilly, we'll see how it goes, but that's the plan. My husband told me this would be an easy job. I'm gonna tell him off in a bit. This is not easy at all. My gosh! 
and all these things are coming inside me. And I'm itching everywhere. Terrible job. So it's all sanded. Uh, it's beautiful, smooth, very smooth. And um, it lost some of the, the bubbles that they had. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, good for the next step. But we have decided that not going to the next step today because it's a bit windy and uh, we don't want the, the, um, the cloth to be flapping around and stressing us. So we're gonna wait for a day with no winds and no rain and uh, with the perfect temperature. So I'm gonna move into the next job, which is finishing the um, sanding the doghouse. Since I'm all covered in dust, I will finish that job and um, it, it will be ready for paint today. <laughs> 